What the f are you doing? Seriously, like, what actually are you doing? September 12th, 2017, one year ago today, Apple announces the iPhone 10 and a little thing called Air Power. Fast forward one year exactly, all the way till today, September 12th, 2018, where we get the iPhone 10s, the iPhone 10s Max, and the iPhone 10R. But what do we not get? Fucking Air Power. That's what we don't get. We don't get Air Power. Air Power is not there at all. And that was the main thing that we were expecting to see was Air Power. Now, Apple, here's the thing. I have a word of advice to you. If you announce a product, even though you give no specific release date, no specific price, if you announce a product, people are not just going to forget about it. You announce a product and a full year later, you do not deliver on it whatsoever. You don't talk about the price. You don't talk about the release date. You don't mention it at all whatsoever. And it's been a full year since you talk about it. That is a problem. I needed to make this video. I needed to make this rant. I needed to let you guys know, Apple, this is ridiculous. You need to fix this. You need to tell people either it's not coming, it's getting delayed, or you know, tell people a release date. You need to say something. You can't just stay completely silent. Everyone was expecting Apple to talk about air power. Everyone thought after you know they talked about the iPhones, they would get to talking about air power. But the one thing they didn't talk about, the one thing that should have been there was air power, and it just wasn't. Tim Cook should have came to the stage and said, one year ago today, we announced air power, and now one year later today, it is both available in store and online today. That is what should have been done. Not this ridiculous bullshit that happened. Sorry for the cursing, and most of this stuff is probably gonna be bleeped out, but it's just ridiculous. It's fucking incredibly ridiculous that Apple would do something like this at this point. Apple, you guys are major players in the technology industry, and when you introduce a product, like I said earlier, people are not just going to forget about it. You can't make people forget about a product you announced, and that's what you're trying to do, and you need to figure out how to address it, even if the product itself is going to get delayed, so be it, but we heard that it was going to happen early 2018 last year, and it didn't happen at all. We literally have heard absolutely zero information about air power about its release about the pricing we've heard literally nothing since the initial introduction last year at this time so apple you need to do something whether it is that you delay it you properly delay it and announce that you're delaying it or you go ahead and outright release it which is what you should have done honestly at this point you should have just released it today in store and online but you didn't and I just had to make this video because I was sitting there baffled by how f***ing ridiculous it was. They did announce some awesome things today. They announced the Apple Watch Series 4, they announced the iPhone XS, the iPhone XS Max, and the iPhone XR. It was an interesting keynote, but the one thing that wasn't there was air power. Maybe I'm being a little bit too critical and they'll just announce a date and a price at WWDC in June. Maybe that is how long we have to wait. Maybe it's just not ready yet and we do have to wait a while. But it is kind of crazy at the same time that an entire year has gone by and Apple has literally said nothing about a product that they had already announced. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Periscope, and turn on those notifications. Oh yeah, also subscribe too and ring that bell because if you don't, YouTube may or may not send you my videos. So make sure you go ahead and do that because you guys want to stay updated and you guys want to know everything that happens. That was something I figured needed to be addressed. So anyway guys, let me know what you guys think. As I said, down below in the comments section, this is David signing out. Have a good one guys. Peace.